Welcome to the most heretical stream on the internet. I give you Wally1169. Hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. Welcome back for Tectonica. Caladorn is here. Welcome Caladorn. Thank you for claiming first. And uh, last time we finally started automating things. And that took a bit of um, effort to get things kind of straightened out from our, our temporary bit. But I think we have a good setup right now. We just need to do a little bit of expansion, especially in the production of fuel. And then uh, figure out what we're going to do from there. Because it's... Um, we've got a lot to do. Uh, we have, obviously, a lot more uh, unlocks to do. A lot more research or technologies to unlock. As well as uh, stages to unlock as well. Blitz Parmatox, welcome. Haven't seen you in a while. Uh, thanks for popping in. Thanks for the lurk while you sleep. And uh, so we're going to take uh, take an extended look here and see if we can figure out what we can find. Uh, starting a bit early tonight, which is kind of good because we get a little bit of extra time to, to, get, to do this. So let's get started by pushing that button right there. Alrighty, so we have, um, what is that, two or three doors that we can still open up once we have the stuff. We also have some technology that we need to do, um, I think under science. We did this one. Omni Seeker. That one... I remember what that one did, but I don't know that we really needed it. That was like for scanning for items of interest. Yeah, we could. We got a lot of things we can do. Um, let's see, we could do this mass collect and mass deconstruct. Replacer. Allowing structures and machines to be varied or upgraded from items in inventory. Oh, that'll be good to have. That'll help us replace belts and things. Uh, the shiver thorn coolant we'll need as well eventually. Uh, these we need another tier. This stuff here. We do that anytime. We'll eventually need another core composer. Um, but not right now. And let's see. Conveyor belt mark 2. Don't feel like I need it. We could do the additional internal storage. That's fine. We need to get blue cores going though. So maybe we should go do that first. Uh, smelting speed would be good to have. Eventually, we'll want to get uh, the mining speed, which we found over here. Uh, not the mining charge, but the MDR speed here. But I need more cores for that, so we'll get that too. And then I got to redo the math on the balance of, of miners and uh, smelters. Uh, but I'm going to wait until I f f get that upgrade done. Uh, we were here. And we could do... I don't feel like I need those. But... Eventually we will. And here's the bio brick. I was looking for that at the end of the last stream. That's uh, that's something we want to do. So maybe we should push our way into that and see what that looks like. 15 to get bio bricks. All right, we could do that. A plant matter and a limestone. So we need to be able to make plant matter. Yep. So plant matter fiber into plant matter and then bio bricks. That's what we need for better fuel. So we'll do that uh, once we get a few more cores. Um, let's see. So we need 35 here. Should do the mole speed eventually. Mole variances would be nice too. But 35, 8, and 15 is 58. So we need another, what is that, 45 cores? Yeah. So at the rate we're currently producing them, which is actually a little bit starved out because of the iron is a bit starved out, which we need to go figure, figure on. We're looking at two, six minutes if... I can get the iron straightened out. And the iron issue right now is because of the fuel. Um, yes, it is because of the fuel. Because we don't have enough fuel on the miners, and then therefore we don't have enough fuel for the smelters and things. All right, fuel. Hate fuel. Well, we have some stuff, maybe? Mm, yeah, I do have some of those, those uh, bio bricks. We could um, go ahead and spend those since we know we're going to get them pretty soon and the sooner we spend them, the sooner we'll get them, so. There we are. 20 of those in there. That's yeah, fine. That was technically 21. This, not this, this, not that. Leave you alone for the moment. Too much. It's fine. Alright. That should help. 
We should probably go do the same with copper, because I see copper's having the same problem. Although we're not using near as much copper as we are iron. But we could still use a bit more uh, copper. <laughs> Caladorn. Wearing a stupid hat. It burrowed his way almost behind something, so I couldn't see it at first. Glass Deviant, welcome. As if you don't bury yourself behind things. All right, let's come over here. Oh, it got loud. Must hit the volume control there. Here. Alrighty. That should help matters slightly. Uh, then hopefully the fuel that comes in will be destined more for the smelters. And I can boost them if I need to. So are you... You are. Yeah, we just need to thresh more. We turn this off because... It wasn't actually helping. It will once we can make the uh, bio bricks, though, which we should probably get prepared to do. Uh, let's see. This here. Um, we can do some of this. Uh, let's give a little more here, too. Why not? Because I ran out, that's why. Here we are. Uh, down here we have more, 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 more. Uh, what's GNU? Yeah, how many of these? Yeah, they stacked at least a hundred then. Two hundred plus. Okay, uh, we're gonna limit this storage to there. Oops, to there. One stack is gonna be more than enough. I think it's two fifty then. Uh, either way, one stack is more than enough inserters at any given time in this game. In Factorio, it's not, but in, in this game, like, Satisfactory would be if it had inserters. Uh, one stack is more than enough. Uh, let's see. Let's take a bunch of these also. We do have a bunch of conveyor belts Mark two. Uh, let's take a look at the tech tree. Do I want to do... I want to do this first. Because I want to redo that math, the balance. Uh, since the game's made it so easy, we can redo it easily enough. These now smelt... Uh, or consume 38 per minute. And these now produce 40 per minute. So it's almost one-to-one -one now. So we could add a sixth smelter here. Um, if we were so inclined... Oops, that's not what I wanted. Ha! Huh. That'll be fine. Um, so yeah, we could add a sixth smelter here because these are producing just slightly more than these need. And so sixth smelter would just barely starve out what we have there. And now's a good time, actually, because this is empty. So let's do it. And uh, smelters, I don't think I have any made. I do not. Go ahead and do that. There. This one? Not that one. And this one? And... Oop, that one right there. Oops. No, not that. Uh, this. There. And I will put the buffer box back down again, just because. Oh, you must have had the uh, other fuel, and I didn't stop and fix you. Okay. 
that case, I will fix it now. And this will just end up buffering up all that copper. I'm not going to put down the extra smelter because we don't need it for copper right now. Alrighty, so that takes care of that. Uh, we need... We need to figure out what we want to automate next. We do have a couple more types of inserters to automate, so we should do those at some point here. But we can't... Oh yeah, we can. Oh, I need to get Kindlevine Extract on the belts first, right, before we can do reds. We could do purples. Electrical components, what do those take? I feel like we looked at this already. Just iron and copper wire. Okay. Um, yeah, we could we could work on that. We could work on those. Let's build a few of these. So you can go. Actually, let's look at this. Inserters, electrical components, and inserters take mechanical components. One, two, three, four, five machines. I think I want this one laid out like this, but careful there. Yeah, like this. Addicted to capping, Not welcome. Welcome. Nerd shirt, huh? And a hydrate. Today's nerd shirt is a Weird Al shirt from the uh, from the Running with Scissors album, the Saga Begins song. Uh, one of my favorites, of course. You are purples, and you need inserters and the electrical components. And then we do one of those one of those here. Uh, maybe like this. With maybe one of these behind, like that. And then this. And I still need one more after that, apparently. And that will finish off my iron. Let's see here. It's almost non-heretical. Inserters here, uh, which means needs to be followed by the electrical components, or mechanical components, rather, there. And then these will be the um, electronic components, electrical components, followed by copper wire. So, let's see here. You need iron and copper. You need copper. You need iron. Hmm. Well, I could bring iron down here. I could bring copper and iron down and loop the copper around to there. I think that would work. Let's try it. Let's see. You're going to go this way. Iron. Iron is still sparse. Iron can go to there. Uh, you're gonna go this way. You're gonna go this way. And then you're both gonna go this way. I think. You need iron in, you need copper in. Iron can go to there. Copper can go like this. There, turn to there. That'll do. You and you, sure. There. Aha! Batman, welcome. How are you doing? And then this will be one stack as well, because, well, you know. Yeah, fuel's an issue again. But these this time.
You are? There we are. You could say my iron production is flat ironing. You could say that. Right, that should be... Okay, I just wish we had better fuel situation. Um, let's see. So the next thing will be to... Go take a look at that technology tree again. Uh, because we need to do... Biobricks. And fiber decomposition. I think that's right. So for that we need, I think those go in assemblers. Let's go take a look. Uh, bio bricks are made here from plant matter and limestone. We have lots of limestone saved up from all of our drilling, and we can get some more mind-wise. So dealing with regularly laryngitis, oof. And then we can make plant matter out of plant matter five. Oh, there does a fuel value listed there. Where can I see that elsewhere? Hmm. Interesting. So, this has... The factory is not satisfactory? Well, that's the point. The shootery is not satisfactory. Okay, so what is the fuel value of plant matter fiber versus the plant matter? Uh, we can kind of derive that a little bit. If we go in here like this, and we just put in... Nah, stop. These... Then we know that they burn... Yeah, it's telling me four per minute, but that's for this stuff. Yeah. Sneaky. That's what had killed us before. Twelve per minute. Let's see. The Rocket Wolf, welcome. Good day. Gonna give your dog a bath to the best of your ability. He went in... He went in the shower willingly. That's good. Mine is a little bit more reluctant. Alright, so 12 per minute of that. And this is 4 per minute. The other was like 12... No, 30. 30 per minute of the plant matter fiber? I don't remember. This stuff here. Let's, let's see what that says. Thirty. So four, and we know the fuel value of. I mean, like the new features and recipes. Um, pretty good so far. The some of the features, we haven't really seen a whole lot of the newest stuff, but we're getting there. Um, but I hadn't even played since 0 0.1, so I hadn't, didn't even know about uh, Production Terminal X-Ray. So that was good to see also. So you said the fuel power there is 5. That means that since they're burning at a rate of, I think it was 12 per minute, that means that we use one fuel value per second. Fun times ahead, indeed. Uh, that means that, that uh, this, which means we burn... That means these have a fuel value of 15, and the others had a fuel value of 2. Okay, so now I can kind of do some math here. Um, so, fuel value of 2 times 3 is 6. That's actually a reduction in fuel value, so you don't want to burn plant matter either. So it's kind of a weird, like, compression of the fuel values, um, because here we turn uh, one stick, which has a fuel value of 15, into three fiber, which have a fuel value of 
um, two. Yeah, Alexa, want to heat up? Yeah, that's what we're working on now. Actually, we're we're just looking at uh, how the how the math works out with the bio bricks and things. Uh, Batman, you weren't expecting him to just walk in when you open the door and stay there, drying him off. However, it's a challenge. Yeah, well, my thirty-pound dog is a challenge to dry off. I can only imagine with a bigger dog. Um, okay, so these, but they also give this, which has a fuel value too. Kindle vine extract. So, but we don't care about that because we're not going to be able to use that fuel value. So the bio bricks have a fuel value of thirty-five which uh, is a lot, but it's not as much as it seems because, but it's upgradable. So that's that's the thing here is, as we continue on up this way, I believe at least, we unlock the ability to make the biobricks much more efficient. But until we do, they're actually less efficient than just using the sticks because the sticks have a fuel value of 15 uh, right, off, right off the bat. Um, so, one stick becomes, which is 15, becomes three fiber, which is a total of six fuel value. And then those three fiber go into making one plant matter, which is a total fuel value of five. And then the bio brick takes five times 25 fuel value which is 125 and compresses it down to 35. So until the bio bricks are worth at least 125, they're not actually worth it over the plant matter fiber and they're not worth it over the sticks for a very, very long time. Um, let's see if, see if I can reverse that math in my head without using a calculator. Uh, the stick was 15 which makes three, which makes one, which makes 25. So 15 times 25 is where it actually breaks even, which is 375. You hate the fire hose logic for the recipes? <laughs> so we really don't want to even bother with making bio bricks until we get, until they get a value of 375. Uh, until then, the twigs are better. But we do need to make some twigs into some of this other stuff. Uh, because we are going to need next up lessons in integration and derivation, courtesy of Provost Walharov. I don't know about that calendar. It's been a long time since I've done integrals and derivatives. So I think what we should do, though, is we should make another line like this. We may need a couple of these lines um, to get everything squared away. So let's do that. Just wanted to figure out how I want to handle this exactly. I think this is okay, though. Uh, let's do this here. And let's just go that way quite a bit. Uh, maybe right around in there. And then we need to make more planters, which that means I need to have more something. Looks like iron. Freaking iron. Oh, look, we're backing up, actually. Not so freaking after all. Uh, nope. This one here. Two, maybe three more lines. And then one, two... And we need more iron. I almost forced you to make a spreadsheet of values, but all for not because it's all going to change again if you have updates. Well, I mean, that's any early access game, though, so I'm not. that doesn't bother me so much. I mean, Factorio did that a few times in, in their long history, so uh, that doesn't bother me so much. Three. Okay. So we're going to do three more lines of this stuff. And that will help with a lot of things. Um... You should be making 30 sticks per minute, but it doesn't feel like you are. I guess you are, though. Kind of wish... Well, yeah, I guess you are.
Well, that's the problem, is that uh, streaming isn't always the, um, how much space do I need here? Uh, isn't always the most easy or obvious thing to do with your life, even when you intend it to be. Leave three spaces here. Look at me, defending Galador. Oh, wait. Um, there. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I fell. Boom, I fall. Oh, you know what I can do? I can fly. I believe I can fly. That would be easier. Two, three, four, five. And then we can do some of these. Two, three, four, five. I'm going to go harvest some more of the, uh, whatchamacallits, though. The, um, Kindle Vines. These thingies. That one should be fine. Uh, we'll need to reseed this whole thing, of course. Belt is over there in a weird spot. I freely admit it. Is that the same? Yes. Should go also pilfer some of my inserters. And also we can grab some more of this. Some of those. That's a lot though. Let's do that, I guess. Not that I even need that many, but... And then the purples were here. That'll do. That'll do. Can I jump up here? Any chance? Yes, I can. Haha! <laughs> okay. Uh, except that I didn't leave myself enough space for the box. But we can just make do. It'll be fine. That'll go there. And then this will go here. Can feed those out for right now. Uh, and then they can go in here. Alas. Now it's good with the do two yellows here. Is that correct? Because this only picks up... 10. Yeah, I don't need the second one here. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I didn't think I did. And then we do a purple... Uh, here. Seeds. And once you've quite finished... Uh, seeding the whole thing there... Uh, we'll pick it up and move it over here. seeds as well. Then we can do this. All the way down to here. Uh, we need purples coming out of here also. I forgot. Almost forgot. And these will be, of course, the twigs. And then we should never have to worry about frickin' fuel anymore. Should. TM. I think I put 80 or something in here, didn't I? So I should take the rest of these over here. Until we, at least until we go farm some more. You go in there. Uh, and then you can do this. Because we're going to have to go farm somewhere anyway for this thing. So we'll have to go do that anyway. Uh, let's do... How did I make so many of these? Why did I make so many of these? 
We'll need more of these lines. We'll get more efficient. And we'll have to put down more anyway. There. You will be twigs, of course. Of course. Uh, we need one more of those here. You will be seeds, of course. Of course. One, two, three, four, five. There. All right, you are seeding. So let's go farm some more uh, Kindle Vine. Because we're going to need them. No, there's more in that cave back there. There's more back where we started it. Started that too. But for right now we're good here. Once you've harvested all of them though, once you picked all of them. Oh, I thought there was more back here. Dan, welcome. Thank you for the raid. What are you doing tonight? I saw what did I see? Tales of Berseria. I don't know what that is, though. Of course, I am mostly a complete noob when it comes to games. I I stick to what I what I like, and I really don't venture out much. Uh, but don't know about me. You're exhausted. Well, you could sleep whenever you want. I wouldn't expect anybody to stick around even when they're tired. Let's see. <laughs> Odium 78. You hear a loud spot as a reaper arrives if you dress up with a skeleton and ghostly companions. If you're not, we are only here to join the party. <laughs> it's a JRPG, got it a little while back. But it's 16th in its franchise. That's, um... That's something. I mean, is that, is, is that counted the same way, though, that, like, Final Fantasy is counted, where you don't really need to play them in order, and half the numbers don't even exist. Right, that wasn't enough seeds. Uh, where else can we find these things at? I guess we could go back to the starting area, pick them up back there. We could also grab the, some of the uh, metal that we smelted back here, even though we don't... we don't really go and get it. Yeah, let's come back here and pick, pick some of those seeds. There's plenty of them here. A few. A few. Thanks for the follow, Odium. Much appreciated. Let's do this and that. Let's see. What is the JRPG? A uh, Japanese style RPG? Don't ask me. I'm a total idiot when it comes to this stuff. Welcome in. Let's see. Tad confusing. Tells you what you need to know for the story. Makes sense. Right, there's more over here. I knew there was some around somewhere. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the tunnel we dug to the uh, that sample factory. There, I think. Is that one? No. Japanese RPG. Okay. Good. I remembered something. Look at me. I has memory. All right. We did that. All right. As there isn't any more up here, then. You encountered some of his brothers. S M R T. That spells smart. Nice. I could take these cores with me too and put them in the composer. Let's do that. Oh, some of them we can't, because some of them were the ones that were started here initially with, and we can't take those with us, because that's sometimes some of the weirdness of the game. Uh, that you just can't take certain things with you. You can't pick up certain things that kind of start the game. Exactly. That's what we all say, Kaladarm, when we see your kind. 
There's nothing in there. Don't take kindly to your kind around here. I'm glad I captured that sound. That was a wellspring. So I need to go grab the other one, though. Maybe I'll do it after stream. That way I don't forget again. Be more over here. Miss one? Eh, one or one here or there. I'm not that worried about. All right, let's go get uh, whatever of that metal we can get. And then we can go feed these seeds into those makers and see what we can stabilize on. <laughs> Found tentacle beings in a Japanese RPG. Can I replicate the light plants? No. Uh, we can make lights, but we can't make the light, the the uh, uh, phosphorescent plants at all. Come on, jump. Come here. Alright, I may want to put a few more on these lines just because. Um... But let's start with feeding this line and getting it started first. That's not the right button. That one right there is. Okay. And then... Uh, seven. There we are. Yeah, see, I only got 48, so this is better to do here. Rather than the opposite. Get this line going. Get that out of there. Get that out of there. This one probably has too many on the line anyway. We need to have instead. Okay, that's probably good right there. Um, I may end up putting a few more of these on these other two lines. I'll see where it kind of stabilizes at. Let's see. Um, because I have now what six? Yeah. What is that? Sand, threshed gravel, core element in the production of glass. We get to produce glass. Also, I need to get rid of these things. Um. Until I know actually what I want to do, I don't really feel like doing the decorative stuff. And I not that I really feel like doing decorative stuff normally anyways. Um, but... What was that? Uh, it's a core composer, not what I want to throw in there. Okay, well... Give me all this back. I'm going to put this... Not that. This stuff in here, too. Not those, either. I'm going to put all the limestone in here. That'll do. And all that iron and copper that ore that I left um, behind, I'm going to just shove into this stuff. That one there... This one here. Still suffering. You probably fall asleep if we made him decorate his bases? Uh, yeah, I would probably fall asleep from boredom. To be fair. Still doesn't feel like we're getting that much fuel. We should be getting 30 twigs. Power's a problem. That could be the problem. Uh, I have. Oh, I bet you I didn't reconnect or connect to begin with these things. You obviously am not paying attention enough, to enough attention today, yes. That is true. That is true. If you let Batman get away with it and you didn't even give him give him gar give him crap. There we go. My math lessons nearly put you to sleep. Well, I know enough about you, Caladorn, to know you need all the math lessons you can get. 
All right, nerd shirt. Uh, let's see. Just figure this part out. Right there. Nope, right there. And then right there. Perfect. All right, today's nerd shirt. Sticks and 15 of them. Yes, sticks have 15 deal value. There we are. Weird Al Yankovic shirt from the Running With Scissors album, the uh, When the Saga Begins song. Long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Naboo was under an attack. All right, so the next batch of these, I think I'm gonna have to shift a little bit because they aren't gonna fit. Um, how are we doing on power? Ooh, we're consuming way too much power. Yeah, we need to basically double this power plant. Um, the next thing to do, though, for power might be to run the cable up to the other power area. Because there's already some partial power plant built up there. So it might be best to do this instead. Let's do that instead. F6... Can't be going to be something that you clearly already are. Doesn't work that way. Just don't just stop being a human, just like you don't. Spreadically are and are not a heretic. You make a good point, Calador. As as loath am I am to say as I am to say it, you make a good point. Uh let's do some of this stuff here, maybe. Um Come on. Why? Stop being human several times. Let's do it this way. Be easier. Alright, that might be good right there. Actually, it's one too high. Why? Am I off by... Why? Uh, I bet you I know what it is. Add this in. No. Curious. Is it is it this stuff in the way? No. Is it the freaking tree in the way? I don't think so. I am Groot. That could be. It could be Groot. It works fine to here. Yeah, I think it is Groot. I think you're right. Task inbound. High voltage cable. Now we'll just do it this way Used then. Used to create high voltage power systems over substantial distances. Must be connected to voltage stepper in order to power machines. You're that nerd. Is it Groot on Twitch? Several, actually. Interesting. Uh, oops, wrong button. Uh, R to rotate. Let's do it this way, maybe. And the problem is going to be, again, a base for this thing. Uh, stay there, actually. And a cable. Will that work? Is that is that Groot again? Unclear. Or is it that we need to have two by four space like it looks like with the hitbox? He was a man, or a dragon, or a dragon man. I don't know what that is either. That's weird. What if I just came all the way through here? 
You don't like that either. Um, what about... I don't suppose there's anything we can do about this stupid tree, is there? Kinda. Hmm. That might actually help. There can be only one Trogdor. Alright, I think I need to go into the terraforming tree, and I never dropped the cores in the thing. Oops. Alright, let's see what this does differently, if anything. Actually, I could be able, I should be able to test this without... Yeah, see, that'll let me place it. Or is it that tree that's the problem? It's not a tree, but is it this thing that's the problem? It might be. It might be. All right, let's just pretend it's this one, then. Okay, so you will definitely let me put this there. So why will you not just let me connect it? What is going on? Oh, is that that freaking flower in the way? Is that it? Is that what the problem is, really? No. Why don't you like that? Should be perfectly fine. It's not clipping anything. Is it? Maybe it is. I think the length is actually gives a different error. But no, this one... And I guess maybe it is longer, but... This will actually go further. Like, if I do this, it should go, like, way over here, I think. Eh, maybe. You may be correct, Kaladorn. It happens. I've heard tell. Hmm. Hmm. That's the case, that's annoying. It used to say cable too long. Now it's just annoying too much. Let's get it up out of the water though, because that's even worse than. Never played the game, give me solutions. Yeah, well, sometimes you gotta be on the outside. Looking in. You know? That's the thing. Sometimes being on the outside looking in helps. Alright, then this can go up here somewhere. Yeah, right there. And this can come up here, maybe over here somewhere. We could just punch through that wall. Yeah, let's punch through this wall. Or widen this widen this space here. Let's see. 
Raid and run, Dan? No worries. Been up since 4.30. Ugh. That's uh, the wrong sign of more of uh, of morning. Well, addicted, uh, stopped clock is right twice a day. Just remember that. But yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for the raid, Dan. I appreciate it. And thanks for the lurk. Let's see, can I go all the way up? No, of course not. Why would I be able to do that? Let's go there. Uh, and then up here. Then I want to go that way, but I think I'm going to come out over the water, or out to the water to do this. I'm going to do that first. Because reasons for later. I may just do my crazed uh, massive accumulator bank here again like I did the last time. It was kind of fun. I think they shortened the range on these cables, or you get upgrades to them later. Could be either. And I'm out. No, I'm not out. I lied. Uh, let's delete some of this dirt. I anyway, deleted too much. It's fine. You. Nope. There. Thank you. Push your way out a little bit further. Actually, I should go up on that rock, maybe. Or we could just go here in the middle of the water someplace, like... Right there. That'll do. That'll do. And then I want to go up and over this stuff here, because we need to connect to that side of that one, just because I don't want to put another one in. So, we need to go up. Let's go to um, here. Come on. Let's do one more. And then we can go to there. And then we can go over here someplace. And then we can go like this and plug it into there. And that will let me take advantage of all of this stuff here that I need to hook up yet. Clear that rock, clear that rock, clear that rock. Uh, clear some of this stuff right here. This rock goes... Excellent. Power floor. one. Oops. Like that. Uh, these just get filled in. These are just mark ones. Okay. This is a fragment I got to scan and get rid of, I think. That I didn't scan before. Oopsie. Come on. There we are. And then we need to do five. One, two, three. F Can I put any more up here? Oh, yes. Sort of. This rock does not go. Okay. Yep, 
This rock will not go. Alrighty. No problem. Cannot build here. It's fine. Protected areas. I think... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Five, two, two, almost. Uh, let's build some more of these. And I guess just one of those, because I need more iron, probably. Should pick up some more iron. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So one of these needs to go down here like that. I can activate the crank on these, though, to get them started for now. Backwards. Should have been building these while I was flying around, building wires. Oopsie. I don't know if it'll let me place this one here yet or not. Yep, it will. Excellent. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. So I need to put in some flooring right here. Uh, I think that'll be fine. These go here, also. Um, so I need to go back and get some more stuff. Let's fly back to the base. I may end up shortcutting through here someplace, too. I guess it would help if I held down the shift key. We'll also want to take, I think, maybe a power line from here uh, as well at some point. I also need to put up some accumulators in this area once we are generating enough power. Which is not now. Hopefully soon. Iron. That's what I need. Iron. Lots and lots of iron. That might help. Let's grab a little bit more copper then, too. Mm, maybe I didn't need a little more copper. That's fine. How are we doing with the fuel supply? Oh, the fuel's backed up. Good. Good. How's the Kindle vines looking? That one's the shortest. Yeah, let's put some more in this one. I think that'll just cover us there. Sadly, that you can't just place items on a belt. It'd be nice if you could. That one's got plenty. So as I am flying around and I see more of them, I should pick a few dozen more. Really. up here. Up there. Up. 
up. There we are. For some reason, I did think that these used to be longer, but I think it's... I think there's upgrades to the length and range of those that we can get. It seems familiar. Yeah, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Noise. All right. Uh, let's see. We can do a little bit more power floor building too, like this. Uh, you need to go here. Oh no, you do not. There. And here. And let's see you. Are they the right direction? Yes, they are. One, two, three, four, five. Rank it up. Alrighty, and then we do water wheels. We don't have any water wheels yet. Uh, Alright, let's go build the rest of these then. Over here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, I need to fill these holes in, too. Nope, number four. There we go. Oh, that connected. Haha. <laughs> Except that it's not going to give us enough power. Because reasons. How's that doing for overall power production? Not bad. These things take a long time to make. And I think I need some more than what I have queued. I think I need a total of eight. I think I only queued four. And I have only two that came with this setup. Yeah. Edge. But that should help at least with that specific line. Because... Yes. Hey, look, there's some more uh, Kindle vines. Pick those up. What's in here? Nothing, which is what you are about to become. So, kind of extended plan would be to, um, yeah, there's a bunch of them around here so we can pick them up too, uh, would be to keep adding more rows of these uh, generators here um, as, we, as we can afford to make them. So we should do that. 
And I think the ratio might change too. I think there might be a Mark II of at least one, if not both of those things. Um, rock on. Mm-hmm. There's a huge patch of iron right here, which will be helpful later. And we it does actually eat away at the patches, so eventually you will use all your resources. Am I picking flowers for you? Yes. I'm the guy who picked them for that tall alien and gave them to that tall alien. You are welcome for that random reference that you probably won't get. Exactly. Definitely not you. Do I know about this area here? I don't think I ever came into this area before. Maybe I did. It's not ringing a bell. Okay. Let's go build these water, this remaining water wheel that I've made. <laughs> exactly, Batman. Exactly. All right, so we have one more nearly done, but I don't think I want to connect it because it's not going to help much. We got to be connected in pairs in this layout. So let's go build something else, maybe. We need teleporters or speed increase. We're bling on your tentacles if that helps. It doesn't help. Nope, does not help. Let's go put some of these into those lines just to. Um, Make sure we have enough there. Really? Really, game? Do I need to, like, drill around it or underneath it or something? I can do... Oh, I just picked it up, actually. The drill picked it up when I drilled it. Okay, good. Good. Good, good, good. You can shoot bling. Yes, that would help. That would help greatly. We also need to start Shiverthorn soon, I think. Maybe I should have just left those boxes. Uh, one here, one there, there, there. You still seem to be the shortest. Okay, we'll see how that works out. So I'm making a lot. Uh, making 30 times four, 120. Um, so I think we can actually split this here again and use some of it for making the other stuff because we're gonna need to start providing this Kindle Vine extract onto our bus. I do have the seeds loop back to the start of the line. 
Uh, so I don't, I don't, have, I don't have them in a closed loop. No, I do not. I just have them on the buffered on the belt. Um, good and bad, I suppose. Um, but as long as I have a belt full, then I don't really care. Like that. You could use a few more here. Take a couple more of those. Come on, this one. Okay, that was one more. That'll be fine, though. These are going to keep going, too, because they come out of here and they go into this, under this belt. So it'll, it'll be fine, unattended. I don't need to tend this at all now. I just have to make sure there's enough on this belt to allow all five of these to be able to, to grab enough seeds for itself. Uh, and then as they pass through the machine in the threshing process, they get put back on the belt here. So I don't need to do a loop, per se. I just need to have it like this. I could, you're right, I could loop the belt back this way and plug it into the end here, and that would work just that would work just fine too, but then I have twice the length of belt, which means there may not be a seed available when when the uh, inserter wants to grab one, which will delay the production of the next ones. So I would rather do it this way and have the um, and have the have the seeds basically the the seeds. Thresh would only feed the line when the space occurs. Yeah, but you don't want that to happen either because you don't want this thresher to stop. If the thresher stops, then you aren't producing as many twigs. And you don't want to stop producing twigs. So, uh, we do need to then consume this. Because eventually we're going to have to... Um, we're going to run out of Kindlevine extract. We It's going to be a while before we do, but eventually we will run out. So, let's do... Hmm, let's just do it for now, though. Come on, up, 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 there we go. Um, let's see, why don't we take from here with reds and put them on a belt uh, here. Nope, belt here. This way. Take this one out and then put in a lift here. I'll have I'll have a floor underneath there where I want it to be That'll do. And then this can go... Over here. And then this way. And then we can use these. Which is important. We also need to figure out what's going on with this. I think it's just done. Yeah, it's gotta be done because these are all stepped too. It's done. Okay, so we need to move this. Um, I'm gonna just move it over here a bit. And it's done because it hit the ceiling. But I don't really care that much to um, to go up and edit the ceiling any. We're just going to build around the edge of the wall here. Kind of thing. Uh, let's do... Where are those? Here. You can go on F6. Let's see. You can go right there. Right? Right. And then you are here, right? Right. And then we'll go this time with small ones here and here. And a belt here. 
And I'm also going to put a box in right here. Take the ones from my inventory. We had a few. 24. That's a few. And we'll gain some more cores again, finally. Oops. Should have done that when we were back here earlier. Uh, I don't really care about the flattening. I want the f speed for the mold. That's this one, which is 40. Uh, what else did I say that I wanted that I didn't do yet? That might have been it, actually. We need to get 120 so we can unlock the blue cores. Could do the replacer at some point, I will. We'll need to do the shiver thorn coolant at some point as well. Yeah, I guess that's just the extent of how big that tower could be this time. That's okay. Alrighty. So we should make uh, red inserters then, I guess, right? Right. What do those take? Processor units. Electrical components and plant matter frames. Plant matter frames take plant matter fiber. We gotta run that down the bus too then. Okay, we'll go grab that and bring that down. Let's do that one right here, maybe? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, belt vertical. like this. Just so that one's not placing on the edge. This way. That way. This way. I have a big recollection that this stuff is used for more than just plant matter frames. Otherwise, we should just make the plant matter frames and not run these down. That's the part that I wish I had the... Actually, I do have the ability to look up. Let's do this first. Because maybe I will want to make the plant matter frames first. So there is a really great... Uh, Tectonica... Um, map and calculator site. Um, I think it was... Fan, I'm sure it was fan built. Uh, not official at all. But... The good thing that it has is it'll tell you what things are used for what. Uh, which is a thing that I like to be able to look up. Um, items and the plant matter fiber. They're used to make carbon powder, a bunch of the plants, dirt, mining charges... Yeah, I think we should um, bring bring this stuff down here then. Okay, this way. Okay, so you're going to need one, two, three, four machines to make processor units. Processor units themselves, the plant matter frames, the electrical components, and the copper wire. And then beyond that, we also will need a machine, two machines to make the inserters. 
So we need six machines. All culminating in a uh, box over here on the bus someplace. Let's do this again. And we need to have a couple more machines made. You can go here. That'll be where we make the, ins the red inserters. Uh, we'll do... These are the electrical components. But I think we can also do the yellow inserters here. Because you're going to take this stuff. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, red inserters. If I did processor units, then I would need the frames here. You play an electrical component. I don't even know what that means, Galadorn. What are you playing again? I don't know. Actually, I can do this this way. Let's do this this way anyways. Um, mechanical components. I just need to tweak this belt to bring the iron down further before we stop it and drop the copper down. That'll be fine. Uh, then let's do... This one and this one, you're going to make processor units. Sith Inquisitor help? No. Not at all. Wait, did You're I... starting to get a nice little collection of research cores, Breaker. I won't Thank you. forget it. Raid? JD plays. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Uh, C S O G D. Oh yes, I know what you're talking about, Caledon. I'm just being, I'm just being a jerk. Let's see here. X X Baggins X X Crew 1979 Michelle Jeanette Bill the Great. Let's see, B J D. You're playing at Cosmeteer. I still have never played that. Uh, let's see. Oh dear, J D. Is here indeed. And you need some food? I can believe it. That I can believe. Alright. You've been streaming all day, so it makes sense. Did you manage to make Starship Babies, JD? Uh, let's see. You've got to have... In that case, maybe this goes here instead? I may end up having to move these somewhere else. But if we did uh, processor units here, and then we did maybe the... Um, no, not that. Maybe the plant matter frames here. That there. Did I miscalculate again? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I miscalculated again. Um, that's those and those. This is those, and this will be plant matter frames right here. We'll sneak the belt right through the middle there for the fiber. And then this will be um, electrical components. And then we'll do copper here at the end. And that'll be fine. You need iron. Let's see here. Uh, the pellet guy, welcome as well. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, I'm off by one, of course. Can I tighten it up any? Yes, I could. Should I? Yes, I should. Reds. Uh, this will be processor units. And then we'll do... Frames there. Whatchamacallit there. And... Copper wire there. Electrical components. That's the whatchamacallits. Frames here. And copper wire here. Okay, so then we do this, and those go into here, and those go into there, and these go into here. These will grab from a belt that's coming this way with the, uh, 
these things on it. Uh, careful. Down just a bit more here. There. Excellent. Uh, this needs to get budged over then one. Also. Did I set a limit on that? I did. Okay, good. Let's limit this before I forget again. You need iron, which means that I need to get this somewhere in here. Uh, belt of iron, go that way. This one can go up and over that. We do this here. Takes care of your stuff. You're good. You need to feed into this one. Oh, you already are. Okay, those are good. That should be good. Once you've made those. And then... These. Right, I need to tweak this a bit. Let's see, come down to about there. That's fine. And then this will go to here. And that one will come down this way. Right there. Uh, you go there. You go there. That takes care of those. Those pop into this. And then this pops into there. And this pops into the... Ooh. I didn't think about that. Uh, take those out for a second. Put this one in there. And belt again. One more. There. I think that'll work. It does not work. Alright. Uh, this can get scooched back then. Maybe. Maybe not. Dang it. Let's move you. Can't do that either. You were making cable, right? Yeah. So close yet so far. Alright, this will be once again electronic components, electrical components. Um, and then this over here will be once again plant matter frames. And then here, if I can get this in just right, just like that, will be cable here. Cable, please, here. This will go here. What else do you need? Do this here. Let's do that there, followed by this here. This one goes like that. This one goes here. You and you. And then you. Yay, spaghetti. This is going to end up moving anyways. Uh, once we get blues going, so I could clean this up again if I wanted to later. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Oh, and then we need an inserter here, dropping those in there. Oh, Kindle Vine. Right. Belt from here. Back to there. Pro tip, he won't. 
I did say maybe. To be fair to me, I did say maybe. No. All right, we're crafting. Good. Let's go back to uh, the power area. I gotta go through here, don't I? It's more shootinest. That it is, Caldron. That it is. And I was right, I did not make enough of these. I just need one more, or do I need more than that more? Why did these not show the... Interesting. Uh, I needed two more, actually. That one. And this one. And that covers that whole double line. So now they're automated. And we just automate these, too. Once these things get made. Oopsie. Was there a handcraft faster option somewhere? I feel like there was. May have already taken the only one I have available to me, but I feel like there was. Maybe not. Go ahead and uh, do the blue course. Why not? I kind of don't care about the wall plants. Just being honest. Uh, 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 we can do this one. We'll need it eventually. Should do the replacer because we'll need it eventually too. I guess I can go ahead and do the mask collect, mask deconstruct as well. And then we'll need the blue cores. So we need to take a look at that recipe again. Inbound. Ooh. Research core, 480 nanometers, blue. There they are. Enables the activation of advanced technologies. Yes, it does. Advanced technologies require accumulated electrical charge at time of activation. Insufficient charge will result in tech lockout. Yay. Right, so that's when we need to connect the um, the cable to the uh, to the to the, the production terminal as well. I forgot we can see the power without having to click on the things. We need to make some more accumulators. We should probably automate those or put those in like the mall. Um, and there they are. Copper, electrical components, which is copper and iron. Yeah, or copper wire and iron, so it's copper wire. And then Kindle Venex Jack. We could do those now, or anytime. Oh, hey, there's some more of the Kindle Vines over here. Just five, but five more than I had. Eventually, we might want another line. Who knows? <laughs> it's amazing how much stuff these things take.
I don't want to leave and then have to come back again, so I'm just going to wait for it. There's a few accumulators here, too. Yeah, last time I flattened this whole part of this cave and put, I think, two or three tall stacks of accumulators. That was fun. I'll probably do that again. So why did... Oh, it did connect. Okay, good. So now we should have... Yep, we do. Ten power converters, four water wheels per line. That'll be good. Okay, let's go back now. Yeah, I flattened this whole big area here and just filled it with friggin' accumulators. All the way... All the way over to this, where the river cuts through here. And I didn't really widen in the cave any, or very much at least. I just kind of squared it off. But it was still a lot of accumulators. Because you need that many, eventually, toward the end of the game. Probably more now, with the extra x-ray uh, technology. But I'll start by filling this room. So let's make some of those. Um, and let's also make some blue cores. Uh, we should make some assemblers then. And I will grab some more iron because I'm going to need that. Uh, yes. That'll do for now. Grab another stack of copper, too, I think. Okay, uh, let's take a look at blue cores. They take 12 purple cores. Plus process units and cooling systems. We need to figure out the cooling system recipe, which is shiver thorn extract, mechanical components, and process units. We know how to make those. So, um, we should do the accumulators first because we're going to need them to do any more tiers here, I think, or are we still one tier away? Uh, that, or was it these it required? I think it's these that require a surge of power. Yeah, there is charge required. You can see it there in the um, in the thing. So we're going to actually, actually, actually have to plug this in uh, using one of these connectors here to the base. So we should do that sooner rather than later. And well, for that, we'll need... Where's the power connector thingy? Maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. High voltage cable reach. Yeah, that's that's what I was looking for earlier. We actually need to do the next tier upgrade, which is the Atlanta more already. We need 450 ore. 900 iron ingots, 900 copper ingots. And 900 processor units. I guess maybe we should start with that then. The Atlantum Ore will have to get through alternate means. I believe. I think we have to... Because we can't make the explosives yet, or can we? We need to find the mining charges, maybe, first. Let's go, let's go remind ourselves how to get the Atlantum Ore, if we need the mining charges or not. Because I don't remember. And then we can figure that out. Because we need 450 of it anyways. So we may need... Oh, here's a bunch more of the uh, Kindle Vine. Good. I knew there were more around here somewhere. That gave me nothing. Let's 
see here. So this is where the Atlantum is. And if I remember correctly, this does nothing. Extraterrestrial material detected. Advanced mining drill or upgraded tool required. Yep. Or explosives. It never mentions explosives. It never does. So for that, yes, we need explosives. So we need to find the the thing we need to scan for explosives. And that's kind of the annoying pain in the ass in this game, similar to the one that's in Satisfactory, where you have to go out and find things out in the wild um, in order to be able to do things. Um, I mean, we found a lot of things, but we have not found all of them by any means. And I know that's the least fun part of both this game and Satisfactory for me is going out and having to find those things. So we could just use the map site, which is, like I said before, cheaty, uh, where we can just find where those things are and go and f go and get them and scan them. Um, I should pick up these shiver thorns too, because we're gonna need them very soon. Very, very, very soon. But I do know where there's some that we have not gone yet, and that's around in here someplace. Do, do, do. We could start with that idea and then work our way elsewhere. It could also be behind some of those doors that we haven't opened up either. So we could also go look in those. I can't remember what is in this area now. There's some stuff, but I don't remember what stuff. There's something. Uh, do this first. And then, there it is. THR Power Trim 3. You know what, I think explosives were in the warehouse. Uh, the one that we went into fairly early on in the first uh, stream. So maybe that's where we should go open that door. Uh, the door, I think it was W-O. It needs just 10 processor units, so we could easily get that started. Yes, maybe there was only one of them back here. There's another Atlantum thing in there. All right, there's this stuff back here too. I almost forgot about that. Not really. Hello, Shiverthorn. Welcome back, JD. Picking plants now. <laughs> uh, you missed me. Let's see. What do we do? We went. Uh, we unlocked a couple of more researches, um, which means we need to start making some new stuff pretty soon. This is our exit, though, here. Let's go it this way. Um, the the next research sort of kind of like science. If, if you played Tectonica, I think you have, right? You played Tectonica before, haven't you, JD? Uh, so we, we unlocked the blue cores. Um, those are going to require Atlantum, which... Uh, 
where the blue cores don't require Atlantum, the next tier requires Atlantum. So we looked at that. We need explosives to get the, the, the next tier. And we need to have uh, production process units ready before we can open up the next tier. So let's do the process units first. First, we can put those in over here someplace. You played and broken the game. Nice. It's always good when you, when you break games. Um, too low here. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's do some processor units here, though. This is a fair enough place to build them, I think. So, let's see. You need... Maybe more assemblers. Which I don't have because I need more Kindle Vine Extract. Jump! Jump! Made a baby spaceship and it got blown up. You blame Fox and BTG. Okay, so processor units. Electrical components and that. With that, we're gonna do this, this, and then I think we need copper wire for that one. So this will be um, those frames. This will be electrical components, and then copper wire. You know what? Actually, I'm going to change that slightly. I'll put the copper wire right here. And then we'll do belts here with uh, plant matter fiber. This just needs to come down a bit more. Just for fun, I'll bring this one down too. You go in there. Uh, this one can go right here. This is copper. And then over here we can do iron. That's supposed to let them explode. Okay, Caledon, I'm all worried about things exploding. And then for this one, I need a bigger, or a longhand inserter. Like this. Okay. So you make 15. You need 20 to make 20. But you only need, you need 30. So actually, we're not making quite up to speed. But the real kicker here is that we need 60 of those, which means I should do another inserter here uh, to get this close, anyway. And then I think what I need to do from that is steal some of those for other nefarious purposes. So I'm going to put a box down here and I'm going to put an inserter over there and we'll take 10 of these here. Let's see. on fire, the reactor's on fire, then it exploded. Caledron's blowing up things, too. You didn't mate with it. Since when? <laughs> when you get... When you get kids new, they all explode within the first week? I think that's a different kind of explosion. Not positive, but it's a different kind of... Alright. Irish bank robber. Where'd it go? Be right back.
It was slightly out of reach. Alright, there we go. Wait, he does that? You just ask him to do stuff and he just does stuff like that for you? Ah, uh, he wants money for it. Yeah, that's no fun. Alright, so ten of those for that W.O. door. There's ten. Let's go open that up because I think that's where explosives were. It was over there. Grab some more of these. Over here. Didn't I leave a bunch of crap in one of these boxes too? I did. Look at all that crap. Three dollar dues. No way. Facility access door unavailable. Refer to display Cut panel button. for self repair requirements. Three dollars, like a couple, of, a couple of million knock. Yep, that's Lynn, right. Scan those mining charges. There they are. And that computer has something up with it too. This looks like Caladron's computer. Red screen of death. Something keeps pinging this terminal with the most irritating supply requisition I've ever seen. Wait. It's the Excalibur. But why would they requisition... Hold on. It's not a requisition at all. Someone is using the supply management system to send... A distress call? Automated distress call received. Waypoint added to system display. An automated distress call? I've only ever seen one of these in training. It shouldn't even happen. These beacons only light up when someone becomes unable to trigger a distress call themselves. Or worse. We need to find the source of that signal. Somebody needs our help. Yep. And we need blasting charges to do it. Okay, that opened this door up too, by the way, so we could get through here. We don't need to. Alright, so we have blasting charges now. Uh, we just need to go and unlock them. For 50 cores. Cha-ching! And that should be good. Is this an opening, or is this a... Yes, it is. Okay. Just need to be able to fly before I can go through it. You haven't encountered the red screen of death yet, huh? That seems uh, surprising. I know I'm encumbered, but I don't want to come back again. I guess I'm going to have to. Or walk slowly. I'm in your game now, undercover as Greg the Hut. It doesn't seem like me. It could be, but it doesn't seem like it. Apparently you can swim faster than you can walk when you're encumbered. Seems logical to me. Okay. You go in here. Any of these things, those things? No. Yes, some of them are. Okay, good. Good. And then this one. Okay. 
Okay, good. Some of them work. That's all my limestone. Here we are. Uh, you, 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 not you. Not, oh, not you. You, 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 you. Perfect. Look at all that plant fiber I've got. I need to get rid of that. Okay. Uh, how do we make bombs? Do we have there aren't... I just said I'd ask. R-O-U-S's. I don't know what those are. That's a military thing. That's probably why I don't. Character said, I'd ask you to bow to my magnificent, but, well, you know. Nice. Alright, so mining charges, plant matter fiber, shiverthorn extract, and kindle vine extract. That means we need to set up a line for shiverthorn. Yippee. Ah, uh, rodents of unusual size. Okay. I'm glad there aren't. Kind of. I mean, don't really feel like dealing with something like that. So, Shiverthorn Extract. That works basically the same as threshing of the, um, of the Kindle Vine. So we need to do another Thresher. And we need to have probably also five of these. We already have three, so four, five. And then let's set up another line right here. Because I don't know where else to do it. Hydrate? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Thank you. Let's go maybe right here. Thank you. Actually, is that the right spot? Yeah, that's the right spot. Pretty obscure reference generally gives away a person's age if they know it. Yeah, ignorance. Ignorance is bliss. I'm gonna go ahead and feed these in manually. Uh, they also take two minutes to grow. So the math is the same, at least in that component. And then we'll uh, run the same, the same belt system. These come down to there. To grab another small stack of um, inserters pretty soon. But yeah, I know I know the reference. I just didn't apply it properly here. Do one of these numbers, and then one of these numbers. And you can have a few more of those numbers. Although I probably won't use them all. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's grab some more inserters. Those are right here. Somewhere. Okay. Row. And I don't remember how this particular component works. The good movie just... Yeah, I've never actually seen it. Um, and the folks around here like to make fun of me for never having seen it. Isn't that right, Caledoran? Mostly Jeff. But... Caledoran too, I think. Oh, you haven't seen it either? Okay, good. Then Jeff can shut up. Giant Space Hamster and BG. Alright, so Shiverthorn Seed and Shiverthorn Buds. And then the Buds get made into Shiverthorn Extract by threshing again? I don't remember. Let's just take a look at the recipes here. Is it made in here? Coolant. Cooling system. 
Uh, let's see. Shiver Thorn Extract. Let's just use the website for this. Thresh the Buds. Erica loves it. Yeah, I can't remember. I think my wife has seen it, but yeah, I never have. It was just not a thing. Like, growing up, nobody... Nobody I know... Watch it. So... That's where it went. Oh, yeah, we're gonna just about ready to cut this off. Couple more for you. One more. There we go. And whatever is left, I will save for another, another one. Eleven. All right. So we need to thresh again, and I'm suspicious that threshing again is going to require actually three threshers because we're getting. One and three here. Let's take those. Wait a minute, that's the seeds. Why are you not... Oh, because I didn't program you to take the seeds out. Dummy. There we go. So you're making 30 of those per minute. And according to this... It uses one every six seconds, which is ten per minute, so we're going to need three threshers then. Just make them. Just like we did with the uh, with this line here. Which I can take the last one down now. We don't need it anymore. There. And then this will go in here. Like so. And then we'll have something coming out here. But I don't remember what it is. Too many seeds? Yep, thank you. That's because I screwed up. That might just do it right there. Also, welcome, Grand Lurker. Nope. A little bit more. That's good, right there. Alright, I'm going to shove this stuff in here manually, just so that I can confirm that it processes 10 per minute. And that'll give us the Shiver Thorn and Plant Fiber. Right. And so we'll have to deal with that Plant Fiber, too. Number eight here, you can go right there. Nope, not right there. I lied. Right there. And then we can flip this around and you can go right there. Belt here. Uh, plant fiber will come. What a maroon. Plant fiber will come this way. Uh, this is making. 30 times 3. That's 90. Youch. Go we'll grab some of those uh, red inserters then. And then this is making 30 times 3 as well. Uh, this one will go this way. Also. You're making how much? Thirty. Yeah, so we need to have two of these programmed for Shiverthorn buds. And then a belt going this way. 
that way. One, one, one. A little more belt here. What a maroon. And I need more of these. You're up putting 30. Actually, that's two of you each. Those are going to be the plant fiber. It's this. And like I said, I have to figure out what to do with that. And then we need... Uh, this one? And that stuff's going to go down to the bus. Let me go grab some red inserters. So, you can see this is a factory production line game that's heavily inspired by Factory and Satisfactory. What are you actually doing? What is the goal of this? The goal is to make all the things. Um, no, there's, there's like a mystery kind of uh, story to it. So, um... You're trying to uncover the, the story of why you're here by yourself when there should be, I don't know, hundreds of people or something. Can you use the matter to make bio bricks? Yep, but the bio bricks aren't efficient enough right now. So I'm not going to be making those right now. Uh, we did the math earlier. Caladorm was amused by that. Um, where we... I mean, it's a byproduct right now, so it might be all right to do it right now, but with this. But the bio bricks aren't very efficient until we get to um, a couple of upgrade levels on them to make it out of the Kindle Vine stem. So we're still using stems for fuel. I could, though, um, dump the uh, dump bio bricks onto this line and just use kind of whatever is needed for fuel. For fuel. Um, but for right now, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we'll do that later, perhaps, but right now I'm not going to do it. I am, however, going to dump all this in here because I don't want it in my bag. I should have dumped off that limestone, too. Let's do this to somewhere. Um, that should be okay, I guess. And put in a, uh, a lift. Although maybe I want it back here somewhere. I need to drop this stuff down to the floor here. that. So maybe I want it over here someplace. Hmm. I'll just do it right there. Let's just do it like right here. But yeah, I could, I could do them. I gotta get back up there. I could do them right now out of the plant matter we're getting because at least then I'm, I'm using stuff that's a byproduct. Um, and I probably will. But for right now, I'm not going to. For right now, right now, I'm not going to. Alright, so let's do a vertical belt. This is one of the newest features. And is actually worth it. Uh, like this. And then you can go... Did I, of course, put it right there? And, yep, I did. That's fine. This can go this way, and then I'm going to turn, and I'm going to go this way. Uh, let's see. There was a... Not what I wanted. There was a something... Still not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. 
Uh, go to there, and then let's do this. It drops back down, and we'll go this way. What did I need this for again? Explosives? Yeah, explosives. Let's see. You normally get a certain clip out of game by watching, but this one has you completely stumped. You assume you're dealing with expanding power. At the moment, no. Uh, at the moment, I'm trying to make explosives. Um, but you always have to deal with power, yes. Uh, explosives. Explosives. There they are. That just takes three ingredients in and... Straight off the bus. Excellent. Uh, let's back that up, though, so I can put a box in here. Uh, although this is, I'm, I'm gonna eventually, of course, not have enough space left for my bust items. Let's do actually this instead, and I'm gonna have to move this stuff out of here. It has board cubes. Where do you see board cubes at? from here, and I will do something like this. Have they designated the board cubes yet? No. I don't have board cubes. I don't know how many of these I want either. We'll do a couple stacks to start with. Oh, uh, let's see. Two, two, and two every... Four seconds? To make two? Ah, uh, yes. Um, I remember now. I know what you're talking about now. Um, we only have... Unless we get more later, we only have four of them. Because these are power floors, not board cubes. But we have iron board cubes and copper board cubes. And then we have reinforced ones. So, I'm not sure which way to designate them between copper and iron. Um, so I, I'll, I'll leave that to you because uh, you're much more capable of doing that than I am. I need to make one of these, by the way. Copper board cubes doesn't sound very tactically sound. Well, it depends on what you want to do with them, I think. All right, before we finish up for the night, though, let's go have a blast. I'm going to grab, like, 20 of these when the next batch is done. Copper's a tad too pliable. But what if what if you need to conduct uh, electricity? Then they could be very useful. Um, well, I didn't want to do it there, but I guess I will. Like, for, what exam for example, what if you're... Uh, what if your Borg ally themselves with the Sith Lords? Then they might want to be able to conduct the electricity that the Sith Lords can uh, emit from their hands. And um, you wouldn't be able to do that if you were if you didn't use Tesla Coil Borg Q. Doesn't it quite the schwung to his name? Uh huh. All right, so let's put down some mining charges and let's uh, see what happens here. And by see what happens, of course I mean, let's let's blast this. <laughs> Here we go. That went down. Oops, that's not where I wanted it to go. That's fine. I went down two because I lined it up wrong. That's okay. That one went that way. Oopsie. Don't know why they made the replacer tool you need to make. Yeah, I know it. That's it's kind of a thing with with them with uh, with the tools and stuff. It's unfortunate, I think. 
Um, the same thing with like, like the hover pack and things. Like, why do I need to carry around an item in my inventory? Why can't I just equip it? Now, I think. I don't remember, but I think. This crap here, I can. Ooh, I fell. Um, I think I'm getting a lantern ore from this. I am good. So I need to keep blasting this stuff. Because I'm getting ore from it. Alright, I think that's all of it. Also around here somewhere is, yeah, uh, the EB signal right there. So we need to eventually punch through that wall too. Viva la Spock. Probably co reasoned. Go to EB for a land time? Yeah, I know, but we're not going to do that tonight because we're going to wrap up uh, shortly. But yeah, I know there's another, another clump of it over there. Uh, but we only have one mining charge left, so we need to go back and get some more anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is just put this one down here and blast another hole there and then we'll go get some more mining charges and we'll come back next time which will be uh, for this game will be next Thursday uh, and we will blast some more of this and then uh, we'll get to our 450 ore eventually we'll need to mine this this cube thing here uh, this board cube for Caladorn um, but for now um, we can just get the Atlantum by blasting those uh, the, the cover basically off of this off of this cube. So that's what we're going to do to get that 450. Um, so the schedule for the next uh, week, tomorrow is Sunday Shenanigans with Jeff, Lana, probably IT, maybe Batman, depending on how you're feeling, Batman, I assume. Um, some other folks might come and hang out. Uh, we're playing Dinkum, and it's a six-player game, but we only have you know, four or five regulars. So if there's someone else who's here, We'd like to join us for that. Uh, we can accommodate at least one other person. And um, we also, uh, and then and then throughout, or then next week, we'll have, you'll come and harass us in VC. Uh, next week, Tuesday, will be Age of Empires Tuesday. And then we'll come back to Tectonica on Tectonica Thursday. And also Saturday, more than likely. Eventually, we'll get back to Factorio, but... Um, you know, this has new stuff, and I just wanted to do it. Uh, we've kind of kicked Factoria to the side a couple of times in the last few months to play other stuff, but that's kind of how life works sometimes. So uh, we're going to leave this here, though, like I said, and we'll come back and do all that stuff. In the meantime, uh, let's do a uh, check out. Check me out on YouTube. I, have, I produce lots of content directly to YouTube, as well as dumping out the stream archives there, too, for those of you who may have come in and want to see some, uh, come in late and want to see something else uh, that you didn't get to see. You won't be here tomorrow, Batman? Okay. Uh, and then um, join us on Discord, Chill Gaming Friends Discord. That's Caladorn, Jeff, Lana, and myself. Uh, talking Hurts, I understand. I believe me, I understand. Um, so we um, uh, come and join us for that. We hang out, we share memes, we talk about games, we talk about whatever. Uh, we aren't very picky about what we talk about. And then let's see, let's raid. Uh, let's raid High Speed. High Speed is playing Factorio, I think, on their uh, Earth map. Looks like they're testing and designing locomotive. Oh, they're 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 learning speed running. Okay, let's let's raid high speed and see about see what they're doing with speed running, uh, in Factorio. So let's see, raid, right here. There we go. There it is. So thanks everybody for coming. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for the chats, the redeems. Um, Rip Dan, thank you for the raid. JD, thank you for the huge, huge raid. Odium, thanks for the follow. And I think that's everybody that uh, triggered an event today. Um, so let's um, 
Let's see. Yep. So thanks, everybody. And I will see you all again tomorrow for Dinkum. Or one day next week for uh, for more Age of Empires 2 and more Tectonica. Have a good night. Bye, everybody.